Weirdo Benjo. Oh my god. Oh my actual god. <laughs> this looks amazing. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I actually wasn't going to make a video today. I was going to have a day's rest, play some Dying Light 2. I'm trying to do a thing where I upload once every 48 hours kind of thing rather than just constantly pumping out content. However, I started tinkering with trying to get Mario Kart VR to work. More specifically, Mario Kart Wii in VR thanks to Dolphin VR, the emulator. And it's taken me all morning to get this running. But I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now. <laughs> and I needed to share that with you. Um, this is superb. Now, in this video, I'm probably going to play one Grand Prix. Um, and just let you look at some gameplay. You're probably going to notice a few things. You might notice slight slowdown every now and then. I still haven't got the settings 100% bang on perfect. But it's very playable and it is very smooth for me inside the headset. Um, I think I can get it smoother. Oh, there he goes. But for now, I'm happy with what I've got. Now, as I say, this is Mario Kart Wii running in VR with 3D and head tracking. <laughs> Thanks to Dolphin VR, the emulator. Now, if you're not particularly experienced with emulators or emulating games on PC in general, I'd probably say this isn't the best project to start with. It's taken me a long time to get this running. Um, there's a lot of configuration <laughs> that you need to mess around with. Um, to really get this running well. And um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's something for people who are brand new to emulation. But if you're a fan of Mario or a fan of Mario Kart and you just want to give it a go, then set a day aside and just sit down to try and get it working. Because so far, this is so worth it. It's so worth it. Oh, Jesus. Now, the only thing that's completely scuffed is menus. So right now I've got some mad stuff going on. Now however, I can press a button and I can see what it actually looks like in third person. Now as you can see here, Mario has no head. His head is is gone. He's been decapitated. Um, and that allows me to play the game in VR. Now currently it's only Mario's character model that has a no head um, mod. So you can only play as Mario in VR, otherwise you're going to be clipping through the face of the character. Now, as I say, the menus are completely and utterly scuffed to all hell. So right now, you'll probably be seeing a really small menu. I might zoom it in. I might not even use this part of the video. And uh, it looks really kind of scratchy and just awful. It's um, It ain't great. <laughs> but it's okay because you can still navigate them. You can still see what you need to see. Um, and you can get into the races. And once you're in the races, it's absolutely fine. There are no issues if you can get it running nice and smooth right let's do oh let's do the flower cup that's got some great that's got coconut mall you've been coconut mauled oh my god honestly seeing these levels like this like in 3d is so good right i need to zoom into mario's head down there we go that's where i need to be <laughs> let's do it donkey kong's got a hole in his head for some reason i'm not sure why oh this is I, uh... Ugh. What? <laughs> Crap. Now, apparently, the first time you play any level or any map, ugh, oh, bollocks, there is going to be a bit of slowdown as the emulator. Oh, oh! Um, as the emulator basically uh, caches the shaders and things. So it's best, take that, Luigi. It's best to play each map once um, to kind of. Get it running right. I should have done that before I started filming, really. But uh, I was too... Jesus Christ. I was too excited. And honestly, this is actually running really well. A couple of tiny bits of slowdown so far. Come on, go back to normal size, Mario. There we go. Now, I do wish there were more characters that had this no head mod. Because I'd prefer to play as Yoshi. Yoshi's my boy. Yoshi's who I go with when I play Mario Kart. I'm not, I'm not a Mario guy. He might be on the box. It might be his name, but... Nah, it's all about Yoshi. Oh, 
honestly, like, just seeing the levels, like, in full 3D, <laughs> they, oh, bollocks, they look so nice. And the thing, the thing that enhances the experience, oh, I got that banana at the right time. The thing that enhances the experience is I'm running a, uh, an ultra HD texture pack, um, which cleans everything up. I'm also playing the game at four times native resolution, um, which I think I think is 4K. So everything just looks clean and sharp inside the headset. It's 50 CCs though, so I am absolutely dominating right now, even though I got battered at the start. It's not really a challenge. I should have stuck on 150 CCs. Coconut Mall, here it is. Oh yes. Let's do it. Has this level got a bit of, like, flying in it? I can't remember. I can't remember if the Wii version had any kind of, like, paragliding sections. Now, I know right at the start of this video I said don't try this if you're not, like, like very knowledgeable with emulation. But I feel like I really want to take that back and just say everyone try it because it's so good. It's so good. I know currently the closest thing we have to Mario Kart whoa, in official um, VR is uh, Dash Dash Racing or Dash Dash World Racing, um, which I really like. But there's something about uh, seeing these actual Mario Kart courses in VR that's very special. Um, and hearing all the noises. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think this level does have paragliders. Or does it? Nope, I'm just falling to my death. There we go. I think I'm thinking of the airport. Is it is it Delfino Airport? Is that a course that's got like um, a little bit of paragliding in it? Because this is like a Delfino Island level as well. Get that squid ink out of my eyeballs, please. I really should have put it on 100 cc's. This is no challenge whatsoever. I'm just coasting along, holding onto a banana just in case. Uh, excuse me? Baby Mario? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just as I say it's not a challenge, where have all these clowns come from? I see you there, Bowser. What are you doing? Oh, oh, yeah, mate. It's happening. Oh, that's what you get, Bowser. That's what you get. See you later. Bye bye. I spend a lot of time on this channel just fantasizing about the possibilities of VR games in the future. Like, I want everyone to get involved in VR in one way or another. And I'm not including Labo. Um, but I'd love for Nintendo to get involved at some point. I mean, how good would a full-fledged Mario Kart VR game be where you can actually use motion controls to, to fling the shells and drop bananas and... Mm, 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 mm. It would be insane. And it would have such a vibrant online community. It's one of them games that I can't imagine people would stop playing. It would become a staple in most people's VR libraries, I'm sure. DK Summit, here we come. DK Donkey Kong. Now, you could play this um, entirely in third person if you wanted to. You don't have to apply the first person hacks. What the f flipping hell? Calm down. Um, Jesus. Yeah, you don't have to apply the first person hacks if you don't want to. Waluigi, where are you going, mate? Take this. Oh, that's close. Um, but I think if you're going to do it, you may as well do it properly. And uh, I think this is ah, definitely the right way to do it. I mean, the game would be completely playable in third person, but just seeing it in first person is just so special. Oh, round the side, round the side. Ah, where have I gone? <laughs> oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Through the snow. Waluigi might actually do it. He might actually beat me this time. Look at his little hands. His little hands on the steering wheel. Whee! Now I wish... I wish this supported motion controls. You can map the controls to um, index controllers. I've seen that online. I don't know about Oculus or Vive though. I've only seen index. Which is interesting. Right. Don't go in the snow. Ah, oh, you bitch. I've got one too. Take that, Bowser. We 
got? What we got? What we got? Ah, yes, red shell. There you go, baby Mario. There's only one Mario on this mountain, and it's me. Uh oh, blue shell. Oh, I duped it. Right, don't go through the snow. That's it. Now this is the first level where I'm really noticing a little bit of slowdown. Um, it's quite, there's quite a lot going on. You've got all the snow. Oh no. That's alright, one more lap. I think I've been thinking about Mario Kart because of the new tracks coming to the uh, to Mario Kart Deluxe. Um, which I will be picking up because I bloody love Mario Kart. Right, final race in the Grand Prix. It's Wario's Gold Mine. I don't remember this one at all. So that'll be fun. Oh, it looks. What the f My stomach actually went then. That's crazy, I very rarely get that. Where are you going, baby Mario? Oh look, here come the bats. Ah, ah. Ooh, right on the edge. Oh my god, the ups and downs in this, this map are actually making my stomach properly uh, flip. <sighs> Right, hold on to that banana. Oh, all right. Oh, this is very, very good. Very, very good indeed. It's a real shame that Dolphin VR um, didn't get more updates. I think the most recent version is something crazy, like three, four years old now. Um, real shame. Real shame. Some great stuff can still be squeezed out of it. I've seen people playing the Ocarina of Time mod that I will get around to trying out at some point. Um, uh, I've seen people playing Metroid Prime using uh, Wii remotes with tracking in VR. Insane. Um, and then obviously this. So there's some great stuff in there. But it's a real shame that it never got to truly reach its full potential. Because I think it could have been even better if they had continued to work on it. Alright, final lap in Wario's Gold Mine. And then I take the... Oh, piss! Mm-hmm. It's alright, I'm far enough ahead. Ah, oh, I'm going to get that gold trophy, no problem, no problem. So this has been Mario Kart Wii running in VR thanks to Dolphin VR, a free piece of emulation software um, which pushes GameCube, Wii and some N64 games into VR thanks to some very clever modders um, and very clever developers who worked on this. As I say, it hasn't been updated in a very long time. Um, the newest version is... 5.0 I think stop that shell um, which is still about 3 or 4 years old but with it you can do things like this which is just so cool you know we don't have an official version from Nintendo so why the hell not make one ourselves even if that means creating a monstrous headless Mario here we go trophy ceremony there I am headless Mario off to get my trophy <laughs> Oh, it looks brilliant. It's so vibrant. I think that's the um, the HD textures pack that really makes everything pop and really cleans up all, all the jaggy edges and things. You can actually add um, anti-aliasing and pump the anti-aliasing up within Dolphin VR as well. So you can clean these visuals up even more than they are right now. And you can go higher than four times native resolution. So you can make this look absolutely insane if your PC can handle it. Finding the balance is key. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been Mario Kart in VR. I've had a lot of fun. I will play a lot more of this today, I think. I'm going to go through all of the uh, all the Grand Prix. If you're brave enough, come and try this. See if you can get it to work. There's a few great tutorials on YouTube that helped me. I might put some links to them in the description for this video. Um, but yeah, if you're brave enough, come and try it yourself. Just set aside a few hours to make sure you can tinker and get it working. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another video. Take care, guys. See you later.